colours. Blue's off its spot. Could play the cannon on the red here to try and free the black, but that's dangerous. But you never know with this young man, whatever he fancies. Play the cannon for the pink One. in the middle. Very clever shot. Yes, in the professional snooker player's manual, a little poem. When breaking off, whatever you do, Seven. don't catch the blue. Eight. Well, he's got the angle on the green. Choice to whether he wants to go into the bunch and try and bring the pink out or whether he's going to play for the one remaining loose red. There's your answer. Never misses a trick. And look at the way they're finished. Pink in play, red's in play. You love a chance to continue scoring. Couldn't have hit them better. Still not a frame one opportunity yet where the balls are, even if the pink goes back onto its own spot. I don't think it will be available in 20 of the top scoring pockets. I think reds are in the way at the moment. We know that the pink spot's free, but... Ooh, 12. That's a little bonus, a little Brucey bonus there. The black's available. So this... If this goes right, it does become a, an opportunity to win the frame, but it hasn't gone right. 19. Yeah, I'm surprised he screwed it like that. I thought maybe a little more of a stun. Because once that backspin took effect, came over. Is this a red on here? If it is, it's not easy. Well, he rolled 20. it in. He rolled it in. And what a chance he's got now. The reds couldn't be better situated. You don't have to do a lot wrong. Joe Swale broke off, caught the blue, didn't find the balk end with the cue ball. And that could well be his last shot in this frame. 28. It's a tough game, the snooker at the highest level. <laughs> 35. 36. 43. Could have played that a little better. Misjudged the line of the cue ball, so we may have to go up for a ball cover. Or maybe can hold for the pink. No. 44. Up for the ball colour, but could have made a better job of it than that. Yes, green and yellow are available, both of which are not easy to get generate enough speed to get back up to this end of the table. The green will have to play with the rest, the yellow he could play left-handed. So this red's either side of the pink spot, so this is another one of those shots where you play into areas. In your mind's eye now, you're trying to get the cue ball to finish somewhere near the pink spot. So that's what you're thinking of. If I can get the cue ball anywhere near the pink spot, I'm bound to be on choice of red. That play to perfection. 47. He'd probably got, you know, maybe two feet of bays there he could finish in him and be on a red. And that's the key to break building once again. Got that, please. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. And it 
problem when you play that type of shot. You can come hampered, but I think he's got played it perfectly. He got his hand through the gap. There you see it. 63 ahead, 75 remaining. 63. Red in a colour needed. 64. Seventy nine, eighty, eighty seven. Amazing enough, Ronnie O'Sullivan could have had four centuries in this match, three already, and this chance here. I just wonder whether he's going to make one for the first time. And this is the only thing that's missing from O'Sullivan today, a century. 95. This could be century 492. 96. Yes, you heard me right. 492 this will be if this pink disappears. 492 it is, only eight centuries away from the magical 500 in competitive play. That will happen this season. 102. 103. Looked a little bit out of sorts in the early part of this match. 110. All of a sudden, 98, 80, 76, 110 and counting. 112. A little bit of exhibition stuff here, just uh, playing around. You'll have to play around the back of the black now to get onto this blue. Could play inside the black and pink. Oh, he's using the jaw. He's tried to hit the jaw, John, and come back to the other spot from the jaw. What a shot that would have been. Doesn't know where you put them in the minute, does it? 124. Ah, oh, white ball's no good. Doesn't know where it's going. <laughs> 113. Attention, all pockets. Well, an absolute masterclass of brain burning from Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Six. Seven. Forty. T two, a T three, a 
Evet. Evet Şimon. Thirty eight. Forty six. Forty seven. D3, D4, sixty one, sixty two. Seventh. Seventy seven. Seventy eight. Eighty six. Ninety one. Ninety two. One hundred and two. One hundred and six. One hundred and seventeen. One hundred and seventeen. And the frame. One else only. I think it's now up there with anyone in the game. Not a problem. One. It's such an asset, isn't it, to have a long game when you're as good as he is in the balls. In winning the English Open a few weeks ago, O'Sullivan was right Four. back in his prime form. He had a 
pot success rate in the final. Only missed six pots all day. Five. He's never played better than that. You talk about ball striking, I talk about it regularly. Let me give you a little insight into the Sullivan technique, something that only really the trained eye would know about. Watch his right elbow when he plays a stun shot. 11. I call it dropping it towards the floor, dropping it under the table. When he uses power... 12. It's almost it's piston-like. Nineteen. The theory behind it is keep a high right shoulder and drop the right elbow. Everything else stays... Twenty. ...as still as he can. It's more in the power shots, it's, it's recognisable. Played this to the inch. Twenty six. Straight in this red. Twenty seven. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. I wouldn't be in the least surprised if O'Sullivan finished off with back-to-back -back centuries following his 101 in the last frame. I think he's only... Forty-one. ...just managed to hold for his intended red. Forty-two. Oh, that Forty-nine. Was gorgeous. Little cannon. Watch the right elbow disappear. Fifty. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. O'Sullivan made a couple of mistakes in the first two frames, but nevertheless won them. Sixty-four. And once he's got on top, he's been absolutely ruthless. Sixty-five. Seventy-three. Seventy-nine. All right, thank you. Eighty. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. 
96. This crowd has had a treat. One hundred and four. Nobody does it quite like Ronnie. Yeah, a little cannon on the blue. I'll just drift past it. Everything work in order. Hundred and eleven. Wasn't his absolute best before the interval, but since then, it's been absolute genius. 113. Hundred and twenty five. Hundred and thirty one. Yeah. For Ali Carter. Now, where's the red going? And this certainly is a chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Whoa. Well, there goes the maximum. <laughs> well, he would have had to split the prize with himself anyway, so one's enough. Only joking. Second, of course, the match is his first concern. Seven. Well, I can tell you if he were to make another century, that would be snooker history to win 40. best of nine frame match with five centuries. No one's done that before. Well, if this red goes in, the balls will be all over the place. And he could have done with a bit more angle on this black. It's a tricky black this now. And look at that. Stunned the white ball through that gap of reds. I can't say I've ever seen Ronnie O'Sullivan queuing as well as this. Twenty five. Yeah, this is about as good as it gets. It's been a real entertaining display and he will want to kill off the match I'm sure with another century yes you can bet your life he's trying for this record of five centuries now and I for one I'm sorry about this alicata but I for one hope that we're watching history here in the making. 34. <laughs> 41.
42. Forty-nine. And just come a little too far on these two reds. So for the blue. And once again, playing for two reds. 56. Now, will he take this opportunity to go into the reds? Could still play for the loose one. And rightfully so, trying to win the match first before concentrating on the century. 64. So just this blue. That should be 5-2. And that's the pack of reds open now. Can he get on a colour to get back down to these reds? Looks to be a little straight on the yellow. 54. Well, a power run through, left-handed. What about that for a shot? 72. Incredible. This has been some exhibition of snooker. 73. Remember someone once compared Ronnie O'Sullivan to Al Pacino in The Godfather, they reckon he looked like him, but today he's reminding me more of another film star, Michael Caine, because he came to get Carter, 80. that's what he's done, and he's done it in some style. Now can he get a fifth century? 81. Can't see any reason why not now, Joe. I was just going to ask you for a bet there, David. If you wanted a bet against it. Eighty-nine. Don't think I will. Well, this is incredible snooker. Absolutely Five incredible. Six. Five centuries. Yes, no one's ever done it in a best of nine frame match. This is snooker history, if this blue goes in. There it is, five centuries from Ronnie O'Sullivan. It simply does not get better than this, I can assure you. Quite amazing. He's potted them right-handed, he's potted them left-handed. He made a 147, remember, in the, f in the fifth frame. I just hope he's got this on video. 111. Or maybe I don't. I could sell him it then. But this has been absolutely fantastic. Yes, you can't teach genius. You're born with it. Ronnie O'Sullivan is a great natural talent. He's worked at his game as well. And it's all come together today. I'm so pleased for him. Such a nice fella. He's such a great genius. Yeah, breaks of 108, 122, 107, a 147. He finishes off with a 129. Ronnie O'Sullivan creates snooker history. Five centuries in the five frames he won. He's through to the quarterfinals of the Northern Ireland Trophy. He's put on a show for this crowd.